Welcome back to the Egg Unleshy channel. Today, I've got some amazing shots for you. In one of them, we're gonna be breaking it down frame by frame as I was able to capture a 50 grain 7.62 pellet right before, during, and after the initial impact. It's one of the best slow motion scope cam shots I have ever caught on film. The weather is just starting to warm up a bit and the squirrels are really starting to come down from the oaks in just unbelievable numbers. This time of year, I'm actually taking inventory of all the gear that I've got uh, to figure out what setups I'm gonna run for the next few months. With that said, I typically keep one pretty constant and that is what I'm gonna be filming with over the next couple of day period of footage that you'll see in today's video. So here it is. This is the 250 millimeter Leshy 2 in 7.62. On top, I got the March Optics FX 4.5 by 28 wide angle with their high master glass. And then I'll be filming with the GoPro Hero 7 Black using the Eagle Vision mount and their custom lens. Ammo wise, I'm using a 7.62 50 grain JSB pellet. And I painted the backs of them to help create that ultra slow mo tracer effect. As we transition into spring, the squirrels are working out their pecking order with each other. Little do they know, it's a race to their forever nap, as they are fighting over who gets to taste this metallic spices served at the table for one. And next up was this lucky winner. As I said before, uh, when they're quartering two like this, uh, I like to use the eye as my point of aim. With the 762, honestly, it doesn't really matter, as any contact with the head is gonna put them to sleep. But either way, aim small, miss small. Uh, and the eye, for me, is what gives that path of least resistance through the brain and ultimately to the off switch at the base of the skull like you're seeing right here. Oof. That one was a little, uh, what do we say? Wet. Filming through a scope cam can be a frustrating experience as you learn to dial things in. Obviously, priority one for me is a clean, humane shot, but behind the scenes, I spent hours dialing these things in so that you guys can have the best possible front row seat into my backyard war. Speaking of which, after retrieving that last one, it was just a few minutes before this loser started talking trash from his safe spot up in the oak trees. All good, big fella. Let's see if some of these nuts will get you to come down. That guy and I played a good old game of tag for the rest of the day, where he ended up living to see another day. We pick up the following day right where we left off. A tree rat looking down the barrel of my Leshy 2, sitting on the table for one, wondering if these nuts were worth it. Now that shot was perfect. Right between the eyes, through all the bits that make it move, and right out the poop chute. Not every shot though is gonna be perfect, as you'll see a couple of these next ones. But as you can see, I get a lot of practice on these squirrels as they have been busy, uh, what do we say? They've been busy wrestling over the winter. With wrestling season in full swing, it's on me to keep the roof chewers at bay. And honestly, I don't know what happened on this shot. Bad pellet, dirty barrel, bad shot, who knows? Uh, but what I do know, painting the pellets gave me this immediate feedback that I had made a bad shot. Oof. Uh, and given the Leshy 2 is semi-automatic, I was on them within seconds with a no doubter right here. Just a quick thanks to today's video sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. So I've been carrying this wallet for years and absolutely love it. It's super slim and it's meant to be a front pocket one. So it holds cash via the money clip or the strap option and has expandable storage in the middle for up to 12 cards, a license or whatever else card size that you're gonna carry. Uh, this thing is tough too. I even shot one of my old ones that I had for years. Uh, and that dang 7.62 pellet just stuck right in there because of the RFID plates that are inside. These wallets are just badass. Uh, they come in a ton of different color options as well. So if you guys are in the market for a new wallet, make sure to check them out using the link ridge.com forward slash edgunleshy and use the promo code edgunleshy to get 10% off. I'll throw a link near the top of the description with all that information as well. Thanks again to The Ridge for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to the action. 
One of the cool things about filming in slow motion is you get to see just how quick these tree rats move. Everything they do is fast. And as I was pulling the trigger on this one, this guy started to bend over just at the last second for another peanut. Did you see him react though? He's, I don't think he saw it, so, and he still flinched almost at the last second there. So I think this helps solve the age old question of the Ego and Lechi channel. Are they hearing it or are they seeing it? I saw him move right before that first shot. So I sent another just to be on the safe side. There was no reaction on that one. So that first one definitely did the job. The clarity on this footage though is just crazy and don't worry. We are almost to that incredible shot that we're gonna break down that I teased at the beginning of this video. First though, the last of the bad shots, and it was 100% on me. Because of the slow-mo here, you can actually see me pull it as the gun just gets away from me. Even that second shot was off too. While PCPs don't have any recoil per se, the Leshy 2 is an extremely powerful gun. Others with similar power are easily three times the length. So this thing fits in your backpack and as the saying goes, there's never any free lunch. So while it's true, generally PCPs don't have much recoil, this little gun is violent for an air gun and it requires a solid grip. The best way I can describe it or give advice for shooting the Leshy 2 is you just need to shoot it like you would a Glock. All right, so now it's time for one of the best shots I have ever caught on film. At first glance, it looks like maybe a shot that you've just come accustomed to seeing on this channel. But as we take a closer look, you're going to see something pretty incredible. The camera is filming at 240 frames per second. That's slow, but it's not crazy slow in the context of filming in high speeds. But I was still able to capture the pellet not just as it flew down range, but a clear frame right before impact. Here again as it penetrates the outer skin and skull, and then capturing the energy dump as it rolls down the body. It's like a trifecta. So uh, I filmed thousands of individual shots, and this one is near the top for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Was it worth the hype or just another slow-mo shot from your buddy at Gunlashy? And you may have noticed a slightly different camera angle that I've used throughout this video. So I finally found a way to show you all the clarity and use these things, uh, these incredible binos and integrated rangefinder from Delta Optics that I got from Edgun West. So I've had them for about a year and I just haven't had a way to really kind of show what it looks like to look through these things. So I stumbled across this adapter from a company called MagView. Uh, they make one for the spotting scopes too. So it's a super simple magnetic eyepiece and then a plate that just sticks onto the back of your phone. You line it up, tap record, and you're off and running. This guy 100% heard me dicking around back there and I kind of rushed and pulled it slightly again too. Honestly, not my best day of marksmanship, but that's how it goes sometimes. You'll see more of these binos as I use them in places like the farm, which I was actually up filming there last weekend to test another camera system made for target shooting. More on that in next week's video. But first, we got another tree rat that needs a double tap. If you like shots like this, you should probably watch this video next. 